everybody! I'm Amber from Amber's Craft Week blog and today I'm going to show you how I did these slime slider nails. Recently I ordered some clothes and accessories from Creepsville 666's Goosebumps collection. One of the items I ordered was a Goosebumps dress. I ended up taking that dress and turning it into a crop top and short set which I'm wearing right now. I was so happy with how this outfit turned out that I decided that I needed some nails to match it. And what could be more appropriate for a Goosebumps look than some slime splatter nails. Before we start on today's nail art tutorial, here are my most recent nails. Now I do not have a tutorial for these ones. So these were kind of an experimental nail design. I was trying to make these look like amethysts and I ended up using plastic wrap of all things to create a pattern so I was very uncertain of it. So I didn't record the process, but if you'd like to see how I did these, let me know and I'll try and record a video because it was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. So that's these nails. Now, unfortunately, I did these using a peel-off base coat. I painted these nails on Saturday, I believe. It's Monday now, today, when I'm recording. So I've only had them on for two days, and already they've chipped pretty badly, so I need to replace them. That is the big downside I've noticed to using a peel-off base coat, is that your nail polish does not last very long, generally. So I'm going to go ahead, peel off these nails, and I may peel off one on camera so you can see how that works and then we'll start our new design. So to peel off the nail, all you have to do is use a little scraper tool. I don't know what these are called. And just kind of press underneath the nail and it will start peeling up. Now I have a fairly thin coat of polish on. So the peel process, it seems like works a lot better if you have, the more polish you have, like the thicker layer you have, the better it peels has been my observation, but it's still peeling up pretty decently. And so I have some glitter polish on here and glitter polish is a pain in the butt to get off. If you use acetone, like I just, you have to soak it for ages. So one of the nice things about using a peel off base coat is you can just peel off the polish. Didn't have to soak it in acetone or anything. So I'm gonna go pop the rest of these off off camera. I'll do my base coat and then I'll be back. All right, so now I have my base coat on. For all of my nails except for my ring fingers, I just use this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Clear Nail Polish. For the ring finger nails, I use the Hollow Taco Peel Off Base Coat. Our goal is to make our nails look like slime, basically. Uh, you'll notice that I've covered my workstation in paper because this is going to be probably a very messy process eventually when we get to the splatter part. But the first thing is we have to put down our base color. Now the main color I'm going to be using is this LA Girls ColourPop Leap, I think is the name of this color. It's just this bright green nail polish. However, this one is fairly transparent. So to make sure that the color shows up without a million coats, I'm going to use a white coat first. So I have White On by Sally Hansen, and I'm just going to put this on all my nails. So the next step is going to be applying this green polish. I don't know how many coats we're going to do yet, so we're going to start with one and see how it looks. Now because it's easier to apply dark colors over light colors than it is to do the reverse, especially when your light color is fairly transparent, we're going to be kind of inverting the Goosebumps color scheme. So we're going to use this light green color for our base, and then our slime is going to be a darker green. So I'm going to go ahead and paint at least one coat of this, and we'll go from there. So after one coat, these nails look pretty much highlighter yellow. After two coats, they still look pretty close to highlighter yellow. They're a little bit more green, and I think we're just going to go with it. I think it's slimy enough to work. Now here is where things get fun, but also messy. Okay, to catch you up to speed, I thought I knew what I was doing. I tried this. It very much did not work. I completely messed up my right or my left hand. 
played around in my right hand, I think I've got the technique down. So now I'm going to try to explain it to you. And we're going to hope everything goes right this time around. So what you're going to need to do this is first you'll need a straw. And it can be, it has to be a thin straw. So the thinner the better, within reason, I guess. And we're going to need some paint. So I'm using this Apple Barrel Paint in Holly Branch. And what we're going to do is we're going to dip the end of the straw in the paint. And then we're going to blow onto our fingers. Now the trick is you have to hold the straw in ridiculously close to your fingers, like less than half an inch. So kind of the big in issue I'm, or the issue that I see happening here is even like I'll dip the end in, but there isn't any paint in the hole and there has to be paint in the hole to be able to blow it out. So I just want to make sure there's some, a good amount of paint on the end there. Not too much, but like that was too much there, unfortunately. So that's how the, how the two hands came out. I'm going to let my hands dry for a moment. Then I'm going to seal them with a clear top coat and we'll go from there. All right, so my left hand is still drying, but the right hand, the paint is dry enough, I think, to add a top coat. So I'm going to go ahead, add a top coat on the right hand. It'll get to be the star of the show. I'll probably add the top coat to the left hand off camera, and then you'll see what the nails look like in the end. And I'm once again just using Sally Hansen, Hard as Nails, and Invisible. And here is what my finished nails look like. I think they're going to match the Goosebumps theme just fine. But if you want splattered nails, then that is a way you can do it. It's a very messy technique. And I definitely would recommend taking off any rings that you have on. I wasn't really thinking about it when I started. And so I kept on my rings. But when I was washing my hands, I had paint flecks like all the way up my fingers and hands. Luckily, I didn't have any visible paint on the rings, but there was lots of paint. So if you are trying this on your own, I definitely recommend taking off any jewelry you have on your hands beforehand because otherwise they might get painty and that could be, especially if you're using nail polish instead of paint, that could be especially hard to get off your jewelry. And again, if you want to do blood splatter nails, you could always just paint your nails white and use crimson colored paint for making the splatters. That could work out pretty nicely. Or if you just want to do like a paint ball, like paint splatter type thing, you can paint your nails a light base color and then use a few different colors of paint to you've like paint splatters all over them. So this technique has different applications, a number of them. So not just slime. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a like or let me know in the comments. If you want to see more nail art tutorials, then you may want to subscribe. I only have a couple up so far aside from this one, but I'm hoping to do a lot more in the future. I also have a bunch over on my craft blog, amorouscraftweek.blogspot.com. Also, if you'd like to see how I turn the Goosebumps dress into this two-piece set, I'll hopefully have a video out for that in the not-too-distant future. Thanks for watching and have a great day!